Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a small PO Box opening video for you guys and then I'm going to be replying back to some of these pen pals. So the first one here is from Brooke. She is Australian and also a small business owner so I thought it'd be really lovely to pen pal with her. So this is going to be our first exchange. Um, and I adore her style. So I think this rainbow might actually be from her Etsy shop. Um, I think that's her style from her shop. But she also has a YouTube channel. So I'll link all her details below if you want to go check out her Etsy or her social media accounts. The next one here is from Lily. Now Lily is also um australian and i joined in on our monthly swaps and challenges that i host over on patreon and basically the challenge from last month was to make three mystery envelopes and add something inside so inside of this letter um, i'll be expecting three different envelopes and something inside of it so i thought it'd be really fun to join in on that month's swap I don't join in all the time, but I always hear back from my patrons to see how the swaps go. Now these two are special because they are our second um, products from the My Stationery subscription. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you would know that I've launched a subscription, a stationery subscription box and package and I launched it with a roomie so um, I'll also have a roomie's details listed below and also our Instagram and this is me and this is her I just thought it's so cute she did all the illustrations in creating this box for us and I haven't actually opened it up yet so I'm really excited to see how she's packed it so basically we work um, in a partnership for this business and then we decide on all the designs and the feature artists and all the logistics and stuff like that. But we actually get the products shipped to South Australia to a roomie's house and then she will package them. I'm supposed to be flying there down um, quarterly to help pack but unfortunately because of COVID again I wasn't even able to get to this one to help pack so she has packaged this and sent it my way for me to show you guys on camera and I'm so excited to see what's inside. Now this is the package so this one will be sent in a big envelope and we've got all the goodies so you guys can already see um, <clears throat> what's going to be in this box. Our feature artist, oh you can see here, is um, Nicole. I'll have her Instagram linked. Um, she basically did the illustrations and then we designed all the stationery and got them all um, printed and manufactured. So, um, let's do, let's open the box up first. Um, and then I won't need to open this package up unless I'm going to use it to create the pen pal replies. Um, but I was thinking I'd just show you what a package looks like in case you guys were interested in purchasing one. We've still got around two months left of this box so it's still available I think for the next roughly two months also to let you guys know I'm having a sale well we're having a sale and if you do purchase our subscription products through the sale you get a lifetime discount so this box is already valued at $75 and then you'll get a further $5 off if you sign up during the sale and then Anytime your subscription renews, um, you will always get a discount. So I thought that was fantastic. So I thought I'd let you guys know. Alrighty. It's so pretty. I don't know if we had this thank you card last time. Yeah, I think we did actually. Um, thank you. And then we've got thank you at the top. We actually have room to write everyone's names. So you'll get a little thank you and then your name. And then we've got the illustrator and creator details so each month will show the feature illustrators with all of their details and we've also got a little refer a friend card and then this sticker usually gets stuck down 
Um, but a roomie's just taking it off because I'm going to take some photos for Instagram. <gasps> I love these products so much. This is so cute. When we saw the illustrations, we were just blown away by the adorableness of this. Okay, I'm gonna have to package everything up nicely to take some photos later, but oh, will that be in focus? Look how gorgeous that is. I'm gonna hang that either from a big pencil case or one of my um, notebooks, or maybe even like on a back of like a backpack. I've actually got a yellow backpack that this would look really adorable on. So cute. Okay. Next, we've got our little memo pads. Um, so I think, I actually haven't even looked at this one yet. I think we've gone from memo sheets to memo pads. So hopefully, yes. So it's sticky. And then it's got this really adorable duck delivering mail. So I thought this would be perfect for writing addresses on. Um, or even like little mini notes or letters. I think I might use these to write my thank you notes to my customers for Etsy. So I might actually keep these. Or today when I'm making my pen pal reply, I could write the addresses on. So that's adorable. And then oh, Arumi, you've done such a good job. So Arumi actually makes these from her house. So we've got the little envelope sticker. Dark, yeah, writing Dear Frog, so you can see it says Dear Frog at the top. I just thought that was adorable. And then the post box was a little snail. <laughs> All right. Now we have decided that we won't have letter writing paper, postcards or mail tags in every box just because it's so focused on snail mail. Um, so we're actually going to do some mystery items, um, but majority of this will stay the same. Um, so yeah, these are the postcards. I absolutely adore this one so much. Now, remember that these are limited edition prints. So once the box is sold out, it's gone. So you won't be able to purchase these on our websites or Nicole doesn't have these designs. So um, yeah, these are exclusive to the box. <gasps> it's just so cute. Oh my goodness, I love this one. I'm never going to send these out as postcards. I'm going to keep these. I might even, do you know what would be really cool? I might even frame these because I just think these are like mini works of art. I could put like all different frames and use them as like little mini like oh and I didn't even tell you the back I didn't even show you the back sorry so oh focus focus little stamps little froggy stamps anyway I'm in love with those I'm going to be keeping them safe and then oh I want to show you these washi tapes open Alrighty, so first up is our froggies and their little froggy stamps. So this would be really cute to put on front of envelopes. Um, but yeah, they'd just be so cute to design everywhere. So I absolutely love this one. And I only get three washi tapes just because um, this box, we won't have any extras once we sell out. So I'm going to be using this washi tape wisely. <laughs> so next we've got this beautiful yellow one and it's the mailbox and the postcard. And I just think it's so gorgeous. I love the colors. So I think this one's my favorite. We thought the details won't come up on washi tape, but the printers have done a brilliant job. I can't wait to use this one. It's so cute. And it looks really adorable on our little memo pads as well. I'm gonna be using this washi tape so quickly. So that's the three rolls that we have in our box. So we also give our customers three sticker sheets. 
So these ones are the lovely Please Deliver 2 and Arumi designed these ones. And we just thought that this would be perfect since this is a snail mail theme, we thought it'd be perfect to have something practical. So we can put this Please Deliver 2 and then the address underneath. And it's also the color palette of um, the rest of the stationery. So you can match it all really nicely. Next, we thought it'd be great to give two of the same sticker sheets, um, especially if you're a hoarder. Sometimes I hoard things just because I don't want to use it. But once you start using them, then you know you've got a second one handy. Um, and sometimes I like to use stickers and then gift it to people and then use stickers in keep of my journals. So I just thought this would be perfect. And we, if we get some good reviews that people like getting two of the same sheets, we might continue that as well. So lastly, we've got the envelopes, the writing paper, and the mail tag. Once again, Arumi has done such a good job at packing. She is a packing queen. Alrighty, so if you remember last time, our mail tags were the same size as our memo pads. Um, but as you can see, it's a lot bigger. So the perfect thing about this mail tag is you can use it as a template or you could scan it and print it out as many times as you want if you just wanted to keep this one as like the original um, or you could just send it straight to a pen pal. We loved this one so much that we decided to use it for all three envelopes. Gorgeous. I haven't... I haven't seen these ones before, so I'm just like fascinated with the quality and the printing, but it's so lovely. And then remember our little deer? So we took the little deer out and we put it at the top of the letter writing paper. And then we've also got this one and then the little froggy at the top. Yeah, and then it goes back to the D again. So there should be six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. And then they match nicely with the envelopes. So yes. And then underneath we've just got some padding. So that is everything inside of our subscription boxes. So you get quite a lot for your money. So I've kept this one aside for a few weeks now, so I've been dying to open it. Yes! Oh, this is so cute! From the library of... I think that's from a Frankie magazine. I think that was their little gifts. Um, so that's gorgeous. And then, today is a good day. And it's someone like waking up happy, or at least that's how I'm seeing it. And then I think this is a reused, or I should say upcycled, um, letter that they've turned into like maybe a little flip book. Let's see what we've got inside. <gasps> this is so gorgeous! Oh my goodness, is this real lavender? Yes, it's real lavender. This is so cute. I love this so much. It's really giving me like... Um, garden vibes and then these little flags that have been sewn I'll see if I can do a close-up these are so pretty they've been sewn I love it when people include washi tape samples from the washi tapes that they've used and then we've got also this little memo pad and it says to do and then also stay awesome <laughs> this is just adorable Okay, so on this side, I can see that I think she's upcycled a tag as well as like the bit that goes over the top of keeping this little envelope down. Oh, okay, I'm just going to put this down and this down. Actually put the whole thing down. Oops. What is inside? This is so cute. <gasps> the 
flags are in here. That's perfect. That's so lovely. I love this so much. She's gifted me bunting. And then we've got these gorgeous goodies. So don't forget deadline. It's a little planner ones. Watercolors. So, so cute. Oh, thank you so much. That is so lovely. And I really like the idea of upcycling a card. How cute is that? I'm going to take a little Instagram pic now. Um, I was looking for the two other envelopes because the challenge was three envelopes in one. So I'll have to double check if I got that right. Um, but no matter what, that was so cute. So thank you, Lily. So next we have the letter from Brooke and I'm just going to say like male art perfection. <laughs> um, so let's see what we've got inside. Oh, there's so much in here. Let me check if there's any more. I just can't flip this envelope over because there's an address on the back. All right, I'm going to put this down. So first we've got some really cute washi tapes and oh, it's a little tag. That's so sweet. I love that idea. And then a little magnet that says take note. So you can put it over pages because it's so thin. I've never seen something like that before. I think that's such a lovely idea. And then it sticks on cardboard as well. So I can see that we've got the letter here and even the detailing that it's rounded edges. I'm just gonna have a sneak peek. I'll just show you like the top of the mail, but she's done a gorgeous job at designing the letter. All right, we'll pop that one down. And then we've got the questions. So I thought it'd be nice to read these ones out. So how long have you been doing pen paling and why did you start? This is actually a question a lot of people ask me. What was your reason for starting a YouTube channel? What travel have you done and how old are you? So um, I've been pen paling since high school with some high school friends I started. And then I restarted again when I first started this channel. So I think that's about over five years now. And I started it because I found the website SwapBot and I thought it'd just be a fun hobby since I already loved crafts to like talk to people from the other side of the world and create things and actually do something with creations. Um, and then yeah, it developed from there. <laughs> you guys can see my journey from there. What was the reason you started YouTube channel? So I actually started YouTube. I started a holistic health journey. Um, I started out because I'd seen all these other YouTubers doing things at the time that were healthy. And then I uploaded a few crafty videos. People loved them. And then I continued down the crafty route um, because I enjoyed that a lot more than talking about health and fitness. <laughs> I did. I don't know why I was talking about health and fitness. Um, I just really enjoyed like baking healthy things at that time and it was a time in my life where um, I was trying to generally get healthier because I was a young adult and just working out how to keep routines, healthy routines and stuff like that. So I'm glad I ventured down the crafty route because yeah, I don't think that's a passion of mine, health and fitness. Although I do like to stay healthy and fit, I just, it's not really something that I feel I could talk about. So what travel have you done? So probably when I was about like maybe nine or 10, maybe even younger actually, our family went to Bali. So that was the first international trip I ever did. I went to Bali again for schoolies. So I've also been to Nepal. It was my first international trip alone. And then after that, I've also been to America. I actually filmed vlogs and I've got them on this channel still. Um, and then Japan, <laughs> I filmed both times that I went to Japan. So you can watch all my like travel vlogs as well. And then how old are you? I always forget my age because I had my birthday last year in the pandemic. <laughs> 
So I felt like when I turned 25 last year, it didn't really happen. Um, but yeah, I am 26. All right, moving along. What is in this gorgeous bag? And yes, these stickers are definitely from her shop because I recognize this from Instagram. Oh, I thought something was gonna fall out then. What have we got here? Oh, goodies. Little um, wax seal stamps. So cute. And I think there's lavender in this one. Maybe that's a sign. I've had two envelopes with lavender inside. And I've been telling my sister that I want to go to the lavender farm. So maybe it is time that I need to go. I also love this memo pad. I'm such a grid person. Like I've been using grids everywhere. I love that it's like gold. So lovely. <gasps> These are gorgeous. But yeah, gorgeous. Love these. Oops, little things are falling off. And then two beautiful leaves. Cute, cute, cute. Everything's curated like so gorgeous. Oh, I love how everything is just really adorable. And I, I, I adore vellum envelopes as well. I think I'm going to have to get some more for my shop because they're just so cute. So we've got a bunch of goodies. These are so gorgeous. I don't usually like um, rainbow stickers, but I've got to say I'm loving this pastel rainbow. Little cupcake. All right, I realize, oh, I could have done a butt. <laughs> I realize I'm dragging this out. So I'm going to pop all these down and I'm going to say a big thank you for sending me this envelope. And a huge thank you to Lily. Um, and now I need to decide who I'm going to reply back to today. Um, I think I'm going to reply back to Brooke because I did promise I would reply back. And Lily, I've already sent her a letter back for our Patreon swap. So I'll keep that one for another day. And then let's reply back to this one today. So I'm going to take inspiration from probably this color palette. Um, so I don't think... I can use many of the products in here if I'm going to try to keep with her color palette. So I might save this one when I absolutely know that my pen pal is a huge fan of kawaii. Um, let me just double check and see what I can probably use out of these today. I really, really, really want to use the washi tape. So... I might use those. I want to use this little one. Um, do you reckon these are going to match my colour palette? Or do you reckon I should save them? Decisions, decisions. I think I might save these. I'm definitely not giving any of these away. <laughs> Sorry, you'll have to buy the box if you want it. Oh, I might use the backing card of this one actually. And then I'll definitely use one of these Please Deliver 2s. Um, I might actually use this mail tag. And I think I'm going to use one of these envelopes. Not as the one that I'm going to send. I might put things inside of this envelope. And I might even use our writing paper. Just because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I might go with the froggy one today. All right, so I'm going to reply back to Brooke now. I'm probably going to leave the letter writing part until I switch the camera off, just because I like to take my time and effort. Um, so I am going to use my gorgeous writing paper. So I'm going to put that one aside with the questions so that I can finish that at the end. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to play music for the rest of the video. 
and I'll show you guys what I've made. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little mini PO box opening video and pen pal letter reply. I'll see you guys in the next video. Alrighty, so before I play music for the rest of the video, I wanted to show you what supplies I got. So this is just a standard envelope that I send out to all my Australian customers on Etsy. So it's also a nice size. So I wanted to use this one today. I'm probably going to completely collage this. Um, so I'm going to use my Frankie magazines to do my collaging. You guys know that I love to collage. And I think this is the color palette that I'm going to go. So that's why I gravitated towards these Frankies. I've also kept her envelope out and I'm going to be putting that one to the side to get inspiration from. I've also got my washies. So these three I'm currently selling in my shop. These two I only sell with my Australian Happy Mail packages on Etsy. So I thought I'd use my own washi tape since they're going to match the color palette that I'm going for. I also got out my tissue paper. So this is the tissue paper I use when I wrap most of my orders. And I actually wanted to gift her some of my own products. Um, so I pulled out two sticker sheets that I thought she might like. Um, I really thought that this vibe kind of matches this here. I can imagine that my stickers and her designs would probably go well together. So I'm going to gift these two. I also thought I would gift my postcard. This one's the Australian postcard with the little koala and mailbox, just because this postcard has sold out four times now. And I've just restocked 250. So sorry, I haven't restocked them yet. They're coming. So I'm just about to restock 250 more of these. I just can't keep them in my store. So I thought I'll give one away since I only have one left. Um, and people seem to absolutely love them. So I also thought I would gift a few sticker flakes. So these ones are part of my new book collection that I've just launched. My little book reading girl and three little books. So I don't know if she's a book lover, but I just thought that would be cute. And then since I'm using a lot of my washi tapes, I thought I would just do a little washi tape sample. And it's just on my business card. So once you use up the washi tape, my business card's underneath. Um, I've just been using all of my business, like my business cards for samples, just because it's a nice card. Um, but you can just check that out. So like I said before, I'm going to be using a few bits and pieces from the stationery subscription. I picked out these ones because I think they're going to match best with the pink pastel um, color palette that I'm going today. All right. So I'm going to play music for the rest of the video and I'm going to probably keep this snail mail reply um, a bit more simpler than I usually do just because I just want to, um, yeah, craft, collage and then pack a few things up. So let's get on with the video.